Hey guys, this is Yankee7411 here, and I'm going to be doing a video review of the PlayStation Move. Okay guys, so in the first part of this review, we're going to talk about the actual uh, PlayStation Move controller. And I'm going to tell you guys, this is great. It feels really good in your hand. I mean, the curve right here, I mean, it just... I don't want to describe it. Um, pretty much how the Xbox 360 controller fits in your hand, it just feels really nice. That's how this controller feels. It's got these nice curves which almost um, cradle into your hand. Uh, just really, <clears throat> I don't know the words for it, but this curve right here pretty much is the perfect shape for your hand. Uh, the trigger right here is excellent. Uh, pretty much feels the exact same, if not better than an Xbox 360 trigger. And this is what should be on the DualShock 3 controller, I think. Uh, these buttons right here, Nice and uh, clicky, almost like a PSP Go or a DS. Uh, you got the little ball that lights up. It's very squishy. Feels like almost like a. It's definitely some type of rubber material, and it really glows well. Uh, it charges right there in the bottom, right there with a just you know usual USB charger. Then you got your start and select button right there. You got a PlayStation Move button, which uh, pretty much is an X. It's pretty much, its functionality is just like an X almost when you're like going through your screens. You just press that to continue and stuff like that. Then you got the PlayStation button right there. Just to give you an idea of how big this is. And a review is coming of this, guys. Don't worry about it. Um, it's about an iPod touch and a half tall. So just to give you an idea. But uh, yeah, I really like this. I do not have the uh, PlayStation like nunchuck controller. I don't have that, but I have this, and this is really nice. Okay, guys, before we get to the actual gameplay footage and showing how responsive this is, uh, I want to talk about this camera really quick. Uh, the camera's pretty good. It has a microphone in it and a speaker. Uh, the camera quality, at least at nighttime, is pretty terrible. It gets really grainy and it kind of makes you look distorted, like a little bit shorter than you actually are. But uh, the technology combined with the PlayStation 3, this works really well. Um, connects over a USB cord, does not need a separate like wall, wall outlet. So I mean, that's really nice. What I have found though is this USB cord is a little bit stiff. So when you go to put it down on things, it'll want to kind of just like, like you want it to be like that it'll kind of like move around sort of so you gotta kind of really get it in the right position have it sit still you might even think about putting some tape on the bottom to keep it still but yeah overall this is really nice and what I've really enjoyed about this is uh, when I'm playing Call of Duty Modern Warfare you can use this as the mic instead of having to put one onto your ear and also what's really cool is you can do video chat with it over your PlayStation 3 with your friends so let's go ahead and get to the actual gameplay footage I'll show you how you uh, get a game started up with this controller and I will show you um what else there was one more thing I wanted to say I will show you guys how uh, responsive this is and you guys can just watch and you'll pick up some other things too so let's get to the gameplay footage so the first step to getting ready to play is of course putting this little band on your arm it has the PlayStation logo right there flip that up and then you don't want to put it too tight so, now you got safety. Okay, next, of course, you put the disc in, which looks like that. So, Sports Champion, obviously, you turn the PS3 on, and you plug in the little USB cord for the camera. So, you slide it in like that, and you turn on your TV like that. So... Of course, I have it set to HDMI, so I'll do that. And we're just about ready to play. And then you just press the PlayStation button right there. And that starts blinking, and it connected instantly. So it connects pretty fast. Alright, so let's go ahead and uh, get the game started. Okay, guys, now a lot of you were wondering how do you navigate the uh, X and B bar? You do not do this type of motion <clears throat> you actually have to use a controller so you can hold the controller almost like a nunchuck just holding half of it like that and just moving along like 
with the uh, D-pad. So if you don't want to buy the nunchuck, you can just use the uh, left half of your PS3 controller. So I'll go ahead and start this. Sports Champions. Click X. Okay, guys, and then right up here, the uh, little camera has like a little blue light, and then it's just demonstrating what you don't want to do, how to set it up. And you're going to want to be about eight feet back. This really is not good for if you're in a very small room. So it's loading, of course. The excitement is building. No, that has a cool little start video, but I just skipped it. Sorry, guys. All right, so you press this button right here with that button, and you just aim it right at the screen. And the color that it chose for me was this blue. Uh, there's colors as red, green, and like a white color almost. So this right here is almost functioning as your Wii bar. So like I said, this functions almost like an X. Click that to continue through. And then you just aim it like that. I'm not sure you got yeah, so there you go. Very, very good. So I'll go ahead and show you guys table tennis. Um hold up, let's go back. To go back, you press the T trigger. So let's go ahead and get a better angle, okay guys? Alright, now that we're back, I'm a right-handed person. Choose right. Choose your character. I've already chose mine from earlier. Play. I don't need to use this anymore. While it's loading, it just gives you some tips on how to play. Now there is a slight learning curve because if you're used to a Wii, it's just flick motions. But with this, you actually have to really get into it. Alright guys, so if you can see right there, As you guys can see right there, I need to stand right in this little um, square box, matching the character below, pressing the PlayStation Move button. Alright guys, go ahead and move you guys back again. Alright guys, so... Uh, just to show you guys, here is the one-to-one uh, -one motion. Not too sure if you guys can see that, but it's all one-to-one, -one, no lag at all. 3D. It's very, um, it tracks your 3D motion using gyroscopes and accelerometers, also the camera. So I'll go ahead and do some playtime. So right now I'm in a training mode, it's just teaching me how to get better. Uh, by the way, this controller does have uh, vibrating in it, it does vibrate. Um, so it does have a rumble feature just like the DualShock controller. But yeah, this I could see, I could see using this for hardcore gaming. So to serve you can either flick your controller up or you can press the T button. In this instance, I'm just going to press the T button. So, as you do progress, the people that you do play get a little bit harder. But, um, yeah, they do get a little bit harder, but, you know, it teaches you how to get better over time. So yeah, this is just an example of uh, ping pong. You guys can definitely get an idea of how uh, well it um, tracks your motion. So I'll go ahead and serve it the other way. Now there are a few other games like PGA Tour, which I didn't think they were too good, 
there's definitely some room for improvement because uh, obviously they are new. But uh, the concept's definitely there and I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this review. Um, overall, I'll give the PlayStation Move probably a 9 and a half out of 10. Um, works very works very well. Um, and hopefully you guys will get this too. It's much better than a Wii. I'm not too sure how it will compare to a Kinect. But uh, from what I've played so far, this has a lot of potential and is definitely the best um, definitely the best move controller on the market. Comparing Wii to PlayStation Move, this is Quantum Leaps above it. So guys, this is Yankee7411 signing out. I hope you guys enjoyed this review. If you guys want any more game footage of me using this controller with any of the other games, I'll show you guys that. Some of the other games that it has are... Uh, it's got some uh, frisbee golf, uh, some bocce ball. It's got a few other games that I didn't play as much. It's also got the uh, uh, bow and arrow where you kind of go like that. And when you're pulling back, obviously it follows this. So guys, this is Yankee7411 signing out. Hope you guys enjoyed this video review of this very advanced piece of technology. Don't underestimate it. It's very good. Yankee 7411 signing out.